Hey my lovelies and welcome back to episode 8 of the Horse Ranch mini-series and I messed up. So it is Saturday, I don't have any notifications to show you lovelies except for my game starting up and a few things that like we having a bargain but what happened is I filmed the whole Friday which was basically spring fling they had a very nice spring fling but the sound wasn't on so none of the sound re got recorded none of the things that I was saying got recorded so I'm going to give you a quick recap of what happened a few things happened first of all our girl May got the neat trait from cleaning up so much after the puppies that she has become clean she also is now happy to have a child. Her and Carson discussed to have a child after she came home from talking with her mom. She she wanted to know that Carson was in her corner, which he is, because she is not sure if she wants her mom in her life, but she is missing having a family, having family members around like Carson has with his sister. So they talked about expanding the family if they ever wanted to after the marriage or after the wedding. And they both had a pop-up that they wanted to have a child, but it wasn't represented here. So I changed it to be happy to have a child. So they are going to go for trying a baby. Not, not right away. I am going to have them woohoo, but without any protection. So if they woohoo, they will get, they have a possibility to become pregnant. But I won't actually have them actively try to get a baby until they they are married, which I'm planning to do in the next episode. I am also I've also brought them to um, Hanford on Bagley just because the Finchwick Fair is starting at three thirty a.m not a.m. p.m. And I wanted to, them to sell some of the produce that they have. I also made sure that they have some eggs that they harvested because they have been harvesting some different colored eggs. They also harvested their over, oversized aubergine, which is perfect. And this actually helped Carson in his aspiration. And they have some other things that are oversized that I want them to use in the Finchwick Fair. We also have a lot of produce that I want to sell at a discount at the, or with a prof, with an additional profit at the shop. And we did make a chocolate pie in on Friday when you got, when I was filming what the scent was it on. So we have the chocolate pie. We already took the picture. So we're now we're gonna finish up um, one of the tasks that Rahul gave us. We do still need to have a Hanford heart to heart with three important residents and we need to deliver a blueberry to Agnes Crumplebottom so I was checking if she was around we have Lovina Chopra here who is the village mayor but I don't see Agnes Crumplebottom so I'm quickly gonna go and see if she is here okay she is here focus the camera where is she there we are what are you doing with the trash but we are gonna deliver a let's see deliver blueberry to her as well and we're gonna do just this one and then we will go sell our stuff at the farm at the little grocery shop so basically that's kind of the thing that you missed is they've had a, a very nice um spring fling they have been building on their skills so she is now still level eight horse riding she's set level seven gardening almost level seven research and debate and she actually got the first level of nectar making we made mom bottle by buying some grapes as i didn't have the opportunity to grow them they're not a season i do want to grow them in the little area we have downstairs in the basement and in terms of his traits it's we did work a little bit on handiness, but it's not that much. 
and he actually now has harvested one perfect quality crop but he still needs to do the other things which we are going to work a little bit on in this episode so i'm gonna start the game and we are gonna give all of this stuff to rahul and see what he responds Okay, so for the talk about the mayor, we got a cross stitch that we need to. I think we need to give it to the mayor. Make a cross stitch. Okay, so I did buy a cross stitch basket. So guess May is going to need to create one. And she's coming over to talk to Rahul as well, but I actually want you to order and drink a Backley Berry Fist sampler. Because that's one of the things you need to do. And we need to see if there's somewhere where we can get the gossip. So order this. And are these people gossiping? Let's see. Mm. Don't think so. Oh, I really need to find out how to get the gossip. If there's like some way or some specific people that I need to look out for, I don't really know. Uh, and we do yes. also need to give uh, a chocoberry to rule. Oh. So let's do this as well while after we have given oh. Agnes oh. the oh. blueberry. Oh. Friendly. Okay, I guess we need to get a chocoberry then. And who is calling you? We don't have kids, so why are you calling us? I've been getting this... Uh, we do, but... Our kid passed away. I've been getting a lot of pop-ups that are really weird. Because... We haven't done... We haven't joined the vampire community, but I get vampire pop-ups. We... Don't have kids, but I get pop-ups from Eleanor Sullivan that we need... If we need any help with the kids. So it's been really weird. And ooh, Brandy is here because I added her to the group. I thought she had left, but apparently she is still here. And are these people gossiping? I don't I'm not sure. But we are gonna sell all of the bluebells because we have a lot. We really, really, really have a lot. Okay, this is gonna take me a little while. Okay, I cannot even sell all of the blueberries. Uh, the bluebells. Then we are gonna sell all of the carrots, the green peas, the mushroom, and then the tarot root as well. And that's gonna give us almost 1.8 and a half okay. simoleons, so it's a nice number of simoleons that we actually need. And are there any people upstairs gossiping? There's still nobody gossiping, so I will just have them hang out until the Fincher Fair is starting. And in the meantime, I will just have them work a little bit on the skills, talk to some people, see if we can get some more errands that we need to run. And we did have one more errand that we could do with May, so I actually want her to help Ekata with some errands. And I actually am going to do the house that garden. So what's new? How's that garden of yours? You do have a garden, right? I'm always on the lookout for some new plants, so it's settled you're going to help me as we will get some oversized crop seeds, fertilizer, and a chance to receive a berry or mushroom to plant. And we do need two more mushrooms uh, or two mushrooms that we uh, need to deliver, so I'm hoping that we will get one of Ooh, those. And we need to bring a blueberry, which I do think we already have in our inventory, and otherwise our lovely Carson has it in his inventory. So, friendly... Um, oh, we first need... No, we need to harvest a home from berry bush. Not again. Hmm... I was hoping that we didn't have to do this again, but apparently we do. And still no sims that are gossiping, I think. Unless these people are gossiping. No, so I guess we still have to wait for 
that part and it's almost time for the Finchwick wear so I'm going to Finchwick wear, Finchwick fair so I'm going to quickly fast forward until it shows up which should be any second there we go so it has started and it is for the oversized crop competition that we are actually here so there are a few places where we can submit our entry so let's submit one and is she making a garden salad? Please not. And I also want him to actually submit an entry. So we are gonna try with two different ones. We're gonna try with our oversized watermelon. Unless our pumpkin is bigger in size. 31 kilograms, 46 and 13 kilograms. So I think we're gonna go with our pumpkin and our watermelon. And we'll see how we are going to do. I don't think we can do the pie competition. But we can definitely do the oversized crop competition. So submit your entry for the watermelon. And Carson is going to do the pumpkin. Okay, so we have your, our oversized pumpkin. We have our watermelon. And Cecilia is actually here as well doing the cowpoke chicken dance. So we are going to talk to her let's see what can we do um why don't we just ask about her day and again are there any people gossiping please i know people love to gossip so why aren't you gossiping so i currently have carson fi uh, fishing because there's not much to do at the fair to be honest I've been checking if there were things to do, but there's not really. Hello? It's just, I think, waiting for the fair to finish or somebody to um, discuss which crop will win. We can try to submit an entry, but it's not going to work out. So I just think we will have to wait and see. It should be ending in half an hour and... I've been trying to see like how to find somebody who is gossiping and is basically looking at their body language but there is nothing I can see in terms of people gossiping or showing the body language that they are gossiping. I've been checking out, out every single conversation. It's just not there. So I'm not sure if we are going to finish this one in this episode or if we need to try it in a different episode or I will try it off camera. We we will have to see. But I have been taking care of the needs that I've been eating um, and they have been doing all the things that they needed to do. And we are st now it's just going to be a wait and see until we win the fair because we have the biggest pumpkin. And the biggest watermelon, so it should definitely be fine. And Carson is doing pretty well in terms of his fishing. Because I thought it would be nice for him to try it out and get a little bit of a skill in fishing. As I do also think that their child will be the founder of the Sims in Bloom challenge. And will be um, the one that we actually start the first gen with. Just because I really want to try out this. Um, I really want to try out this challenge. And I think it would be a good sim. To try it with somebody who actually comes from a farm. And decides to move to Brindleton Bay. Or Hanford on Bagley. Uh, to... Do their own gardening and do their own things. So that's what I think would be funny to do or nice to do. But I want you lovely opinions to actually see if it's something that we should do. Or if you lovely think that we should do a different challenge or a whole different family altogether. And we got a new personality trait for Carson, which is ambitious. That's fine. You can have it. We did won the competition. So we won the first place oversized Crop competition ribbon. We won a red polka dot blouse. And we unlocked the recipe for flirty treats. So our crop won a competition, which was to be expected. We also got the second place, which may won as a reward. 
um, or which may did win, we got a veggie treat. So she also unlocked a recipe for flirty treats. And she has a second place ribbon. She is feeling... Wait, there's a criminal here? Who is a criminal? Who is a criminal? And are they gossiping? Because I want a gossiping people. Because I have no idea how to finish this one up. And we actually did lost our entry, so I think we are just gonna go home and have them take care of the needs. And in the morning, I want to travel to Tartosa and have them start picking out some things for their wedding. Wait. Minutes? Are you gossiping? Are you gossiping? Let's see. Do a friendly introduction. And see if they are gossiping. Because I don't know. And I want in on the gossip. But... Mm, not sure if they're gossiping. They are standing very close, though. But... As I said, I'm going to send them home. I'm going to have them take care of themselves and then they can go into Tortosa to start preparing for their wedding. And right as we come home, I thought I would let May and Carson do a little woohoo, as I said. But Asparagus has aged up. And Pumpkin has aged up. And Chestnut has aged up. So we now have Four full-grown doggies, and as I said, I don't think I want to keep all of our doggies just because they're way there is way too many, and we cannot keep up with all of them. Although they are all really adorable and really, really, really cute looking. So what I may do is I may keep one of them who has the best relationship with both of them and. Then I will send the other two to Carson's parents and Carson's sister or to Emily if May wants to improve the situation of which I want you to this opinion. What do you think? Does May want to actually talk with her mom? And does she actually want to improve the relationship with her mom and have her mom back in her life? All right, so we are in Tortosa, and this is actually a beach club, which I think was made by Create for Sims or Sims for IDs. But I will leave the the creator in the description down below. And the reason why we are here is because I want to order some things and check some things out for the wedding. So we it's are gonna. Haggle first uh, and then hobbies. buy a wedding Pizza? bouquet. Quick we stop. are also going to let's see, buy a wedding cake. So again, haggle and then we are gonna purchase a wedding cake. And we are gonna ooh, we can order some food here. I don't think that will be for the wedding, but it's nice to know. And May is sad because she is on her period, but I do just want to do a few things for the wedding in terms of preparation so we can actually plan the event and let's hope that it will work as, mm, as a preparation. I'm not sure if the wedding cake will still be fine if we select it, but what I said I want to do is to have the wedding on Sunday. It is Sunday now, so I think we are actually going to have it, um, if it's going to be in the next episode, I do want them to give a little bit of preparation time. So, let's say it's gonna be on Wednesday or Thursday, and then I hope we will have it in the next episode, otherwise it will be in the episode after. Well, first we need to select all of our things so we can buy it. Um, no haggling for both of them, I guess. Or did she? Okay, she manages to re uh, reach it. So buy a discounted wedding bouquet. Okay. 
and oh, you want to go over to your girl to your friend's fiance? No, I clicked it away. Please tell me I can buy. No, I need to haggle again. Thank you, Carson, for help for making me click it away. Well, I know you want to chat with May. I know you so want to flirt with May, but you need to purchase a wedding cake. Well, she is purchasing her wedding bouquet because that's something you're not gonna see just yet. And I do want to see if we can also buy discounted flowers. Okay, we have a wedding bouquet, so I think... Let's see. May can make some wedding bouquets herself. But I think she would like... Something not too typical. I think she would want a delicate bouquet as well. So maybe a blush rose bouquet or the delicate bouquet. I'm just gonna check what else is here. As I've never really done this. Yeah, I think she would be the one who would go for a blush rose delicate bouquet. And we've now bought our bouquet of flowers. And then, Carson, can you purchase a wedding cake? And let's see what we can... Uh, what we'll select for the wedding cake. So for the wedding cake, they are going to have it at the at a barn. So this cupcake wedding display would work nice. A floral wedding cake would also work nice. And I do think they would go for multiple tiers. Um, I actually think they would go for a floral wedding cake. I don't think they would go for a brown one. I Cupcakes are also nice. I'm actually gonna go for the cupcake stand. And then what we are gonna do is instead of doing it on Sunday, we are gonna actually plan the wedding event on when on Tuesday. And I do want them to have uh, some of these things as well. So Wedding ceremony is gonna be on Sun on Tuesday. We have the bride of groom. We don't have anybody yet, but our guests are going to be. Let's see. Can we invite guests? There we go. Um. Oh, I need to. Of course, they need to know every. They don't know any everybody. Uh, I'm gonna have a long list of selecting all their friends and all the people. We do have a flower pal already, right? Yeah, Daisy is our flower pal. And then in terms of guests, it's gonna be our family members. Alright, so I've selected all the guests and what we need to do is of course exchange vows. I think we're gonna walk down the aisle. I do want the spousal kiss, I want to cut the cake, and I want to have a first dance, speeches, and half toast. I think that's it. Don't think we need to do anybody anything else. Outfits, I will plan later. And can I select a dress code to be boho and no color scheme, but I cannot select a wedding cake, unfortunately. And in terms of location, we are gonna select some place in... Where is it? Um, we need to find Hanford on Beckley. There we go. It is at the wedding venue. So this one and the event time, it's gonna be... Let's say 10 a.m. so they can wait, have a little bit of time to wake up. But it's still early so we have a lot of things to do. So we have our wedding event and then another wedding event is... Let's see, reception is to celebrate. Rehearsal dinner is something I've never done. Um... 
actually want them to have a bachelor party. So as the guest, it's just going to be a joint bachelor party, I think. Am I going to do a bachelor party? No, I'm not going to do a bachelor party, actually. I'm going to do it as a different event. And I'm going to have them do a joint bachelor party from here. So let's see if I can get a bachelor party from here. Hmm. Or you can do it as... Animal play date? No, we do have the bachelor party here, which will we get a reward, uh, wedding arch for? Don't want that. Um, I think I actually want to do the one that we get with the horse wrench pack, which is the event for animals. So, what the ranch gathering? I actually want to do the ranch gathering. And see how that goes. So we are going to be the host. And the sim that we are going to invite is open invites. We're going to have 15 open invites. And you, our lovely May, is going to be the girl master. And then where we are gonna have the event is at our own residence. Oh no, we can do it at a park too. Ooh, I actually think it's gonna be nice to do it at the park. And then have the event in the... No, we're gonna do it at home so people can see our own wrench. And then we are gonna do it at... 4 p.m. to have a little bit of time for drinks in advance and then start grilling after and I will buy them a barbecue as well. So that's something that we can do in the next episode right before we have the wedding. So it is going to be a little bit of a longer episode. I think because I do want to have the wedding as a machinima or partially machinima event and I also want to have the ranch gathering so that's gonna be a little little joint episode so i hope you guys are looking forward to a bit of a longer episode i know i sure am it may take me a little bit of preparation time to get everything ready because there are some things that i also want to um prepare and i want to do a little bit of machinima scene so i want to make it a more machinima episode so, I may not have the episode ready next week, since I'm also going on holiday. So, in that case, I will have an additional episode of the Not So Berry Challenge up. And then once I'm back from my holiday, I will make a longer horse wrench episode. So, I hope you guys are excited for that. I know there was a lot of talking, and there was some inventful things in this episode, but not too much. So next episode, it definitely will be a lot more eventful. It will definitely be uh, a very eventful episode. So I hope you guys are excited for it. Let me know what you think May will do with her mom. Will she make up with her mom? Will her mom be part of the wedding? Or will she cut her mom out of her life? Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what you think we should do with the little doggies. We'll also leave a poll on both Twitter and the community page. But I think it's best that we potentially keep one. And I think that's going to be either the one that looks the most different from Daisy in terms of the coloring of the fur. Because Daisy has a pre-made one and then I think it would be nice to have Jerome's coloring. A little bit more, so I think that one comes who comes the closest. Uh, if you look at Jerome and then our little doggy here, I think asparagus or a pumpkin would be the most fitting. But then the one who has the best relationship is going to be um, 
potentially chestnut as well because we also have pumpkin and asparagus as females and then maybe chestnut as a male so we can also keep the male but that's something that we still need to decide i do think we're going to give it to family but also let me know should we just put them for up for adoption or should we keep them and hopefully have one baby or should we potentially make some more space for babies and give them to our parents maybe to Emily if May makes up or if we give it to Carson's family let me know all of that in the comments down below and if you guys like this episode and are excited for the next one click that little like button down below so I know you are enjoying this series let me know in the comments down below all of the things that I mentioned and if you don't want to miss out on either a wholesome or a chaotic video and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on the next much more eventful episode. And I'll see you lovelies in the next one.